Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be glorified forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own ministry with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe, tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Child of God, there is nothing that God cannot do. Your case is not an impossible case. This is what God had me to tell you through the wisdom that he has given to me. Your case is not an impossible case. Your case is not an impossible case. I want you to look at yourself and look at that situation. And tell yourself and tell that situation that it is possible. Because God is within you, you will not fail. God is within you, you will not fail. Hallelujah. The Bible says when you pass through the waters, he will be with you, so he is with you. When you when you pass through the fire, he will be with you. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. So your case is not a case that is written off that has no solution. I want you to know that there is solution for you in God. Don't get comfortable with the lies that is being told that, oh, your own is over. There is no one that can put a, a full stop. Is it a full stop? They call it when you are writing, you put a full stop in your life. There is not even any man. There is not any anyone at all. When the Lord sent his prophet to, to Hezekiah, yes, to Hezekiah, to tell him to put his house in order, that he's about to die. What happened? What happened? Even the prophet that was saying does not have the full stop to the life that he was sent to. When that life turned to God, God showed mercy. When that life turned to God, God showed mercy. Hallelujah. So I want you to know that not even a man or a woman of God have the pain to put full stop when it comes to your life. Even if the prophecy might not be beautiful, yes, he or she might have heard it from the Lord and told you this is what I'm seeing is very bad. Fine, he have seen it. But when you cry out to the Lord, he can turn it around. I want you to have that in the back of your mind that even prophet does not have the final say when he called to their message. It is the God that sent them that have the final say. It depends on how the receiver of that message use the message. If the message is not okay, it means that God is saying you can you can change. When the Lord said, when the Lord said Jonah. To Nineveh. When he sent Jonah to Nineveh, I was going to say Noah, so I didn't want to make a mistake. So that somebody will not say, but I said, Where are you seeing all these things that you are seeing? So when the Lord sent Jonah to Nineveh, he said to go and tell the people of Nineveh that he was going to destroy Nineveh because of their evil that, were, that, that they were doing in that land. That was a message from God directly. So that is to tell you that. So message that really break hearts can come from God. But how the receiver of the message use the message can also change the message. The Bible says Jonah arrived in Nineveh and begins to shout, People of Nineveh, the Lord, you have done this in the sight of the Lord. We are going, the Lord is going to destroy Nineveh in this so 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 day. And he released the message as the Lord have sent him. The Bible recorded that the people of Nineveh, they changed. They seek the Lord. Even the king sat with a sack clothes. You know, the king sat with a sack clothes and they asked God for forgiveness. And the Lord forgive. He did not destroy Nineveh again. That is something that you should know. The fact that you receive a prophecy 
or you heard message that is making that will make you feel oh no weapon form a fashion against me that will ever prosper doesn't mean that oh the message is not coming from god but you that are receiving it it not depends on you on how you will use the message because god is a compassionate god don't get comfortable with wrong things that you hear don't get comfortable with wrong conclusion about you. Don't get comfortable when people say that, oh, you are, I'm not sure you can have that breakthrough anymore. Look at your age. Look at your life. Don't get comfortable. Because when you are not comfortable with a message that does not align with you and the will of God for your life, you will be able to change it. God is saying to you that your case is not impossible. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Your breakthrough will manifest. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.